There it is, the uh, custom carbon fiber touring bike that I made for my wife. Uh, sized it precisely for her, for flat bars, which means you need a little longer top tube versus drop bars. And I also made it separable, which means you can take it apart and stick it in the trunk of a car pretty easily. And the way that works is you've got this swivel open uh, seam on the top. You can see right there. And if you take out those screws, and then you come down here to that pinch assembly, you can loosen that and then it swivels open. And if you have taken apart the Ritchie quick releases uh, for the uh, cables, it'll come right apart. So, I made it out of stock Chinese carbon fiber tubes. Some of them had to be beefed up to add a little more stiffness or to add some torsional uh, stiffness, especially the down tube there. The original version of the bike was a little bit flexy. And the fork is a Chinese special, but I modded it a lot by adding some barnacles, for instance, those in the middle and the ones at the bottom as well as the M5 barnacles on the front and back of the fork crown so that you can attach things like racks or fenders. The rest of the bike is, well, aside from the components, is all made to my specifications. Stuff like the seat post clamp is incorporated, custom made. These barnacles back here on to hold a rack. I added those as well. And then there are barnacles. These are T-nuts in the main tubes to hold water bottles, both there and there. And I also put a plate in the bottom so that you could put a kickstand on as well as uh, secure the front edge of the fender. And then I also took care of one of the more annoying problems you can get with a kickstand which is that the thing wants to swivel by uh, drilling a hole in that quick kickstand so that the screw that holds the fender comes all the way down and keeps it from swiveling. The drivetrain and the components are pretty simple. It's running on Dior XT hubs in Sun CR18 rims with some uh, pretty simple Dior 29er triple chain ring and Alivio derailleur on the front which is sized to fit the seat post angle of a road bike while fitting the cog profile of a mountain bike. That one was kind of a pain to find. I was happy to find that. In the back it's a simple micro shift mezzo nine speed rear derailleur. They can handle a wide range an 11 to 34 cassette, which makes for a pretty wide gear range. I think it's somewhere like 18 to 100 or so, like the, something like that. And then for doing the slowy downy thing, simple Avid BB7 mountains, front and back. Why Avids? Why not hydraulics? Well, we got a lot of the Avid cable actuated BB7s in the house. And the other thing is that as a separable bike, I need to have cable actuation because I can't just take apart hydraulics, right? So, there it is. The wife seems happy with it. 
even though I just put little micro shift twisties on the front and some old spray painted X7 brake levers, she's fine with that, which is good.